Welcome to the Power Email video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure the Power Email component. The Power Email component allows you to take control over the Joomla system messages that are sent via email from Joomla. This includes the core Joomla, such as your registration links and any component that you want. You can set a global template for every email that Joomla sends out or you can go ahead and set up overrides for each individual component. So if you want to say change your registration email and have your logo in it, some social networking, maybe some links in it, you can do that. If you want to set up a special override for say Virtumart for when somebody gets a product from you, you can go ahead and um, do some marketing in it such as put in your featured products on the bottom of the email or maybe a coupon code for their next purchase right there inside of the email. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over here to your extensions and you want to go to the manage and you want to install and you want to install the component and the plugin. And then you want to go over here to your plugins and you want to go to your power email and you want to make sure that it is published. So next you're going to go over here to the power mail and you've got templates, language overrides, and about. So we're going to start with the template views. So we're going to say new. So now here's our new template for the emails. So you've got your languages here so if you have multilingual installed you can select each language. And for the component, you can do system-wide. System-wide means it covers every single email that is sent out by Joomla or any component that uses the Joomla language files. Um, speaking about the Joomla language files, if the component is built with Joomla standards and has MVC and has language files for the emails, this will work. If you have a component that does not use language files and is not multilingual and does not use the language file, for the email, you need to contact the creator of that component and ask them how the emails are handled. So first, let's look at the system wide. We've included quite a few templates in here for a, a starting point. So let's look at the first one here. This is the Joomla Ecstasy. This is the one that we use. So we have our logo up here with a blue background. We have the date that it was sent and here's the content. That's the system message. So if it's Virtumart, it's going to be the system message. If it's Joomla registration, it's going to be the system message. That's what goes in the content. And then down here we're going to output our site name. So you've got a preview button here where you can go ahead and open this up in a new window and you've got a preview. Of course in the email it's going to spit out the date and it's going to spit out the site name and the content. But this just gives you a look at the design. So now let's look at the basic one sample. Okay, so basic one here, it's all white, and this is a sample. So we've got a logo, we have a site name, we have our H classes here, we have our P class, we've got bold, italic, we have buttons, table example, some more text here, um, address, and different colors here, and we've got our social networking icon, sample text, and a date. So let's check this out in the preview. So as you see, it all looks nicely here in the preview. But if you notice, we don't have the content tag in here. If you want to use this template, you're going to have to replace this for the content tag. Let's look at the blank one. This is blank with no markup. We've already looked at that one. Now here's the blue one sample. Again, this is just a sample of what you can do. We put an image in there. Here's your standard blue one, so you can put whatever markup you want inside of here in addition to the content. Then we have blue two. In blue two, we're using a two column down here. So this might be perfect for you if you wanted to put, um, say, an image in here and another image in here, or if you wanted to put some product information, your sample text could be your support link, um, your blog, and your social networking. So here's a Bluetooth sample. As you see, the samples just have our markup in here with our styling. So if you want to go in and edit this with some styling, we've got some pre-done styling in there. In blue three, 
and so on. So we've got green ones, we've got orange ones, red ones, um, very easy. So let, let's actually take a look here at this one, this green two, or actually let's just look at blue one. So if you want to change a logo, this is a WYSIWYG editor. You can change this image here. You can change these images. You can change this. Um, I always prefer to use the editor. So let's go ahead and look at the code. And you'll see here, everything is tabled with inline styling. That's really the standard for emails. Um, using div classes, using um, style sheets, um, really is not going to work and it's not going to work um, for all your email clients. So still the best standard to use is tables with inline styling. So to change the logo out here, you would just find this IMG here and here's our link to it. So you just change it to your link. Go down here to the social networking. Here's the Ahref, that's the link. And here's your IMG for the Facebook icon. So you just put your link in there for your Facebook and change your Facebook icon or use the ones that we've included. So now that we've got this set, we're just going to go ahead and use this one for the demo, our blue one. So use HTML, yes, we want to have the HTML. If you don't use HTML, then you're going to lose the styling. Blind copy. Blind copy will send an email. Every time an email is sent from the system, you're going to get a copy. So you just put your email in there. If you want to send it to multiple people, you just put a comma after it and put the next email in. Now let's talk about the tags that you can use. The tags that you can use is you've got your content. That's the message from Joomla, the language message. You've got your date. You've got your date format with the PHP date format. You've got your site name and you have your site URL. And then down here we've got notes. And of course, notes inside of a component or a module is great. If you're doing this for a client, you can go ahead and leave them some notes. So let's go ahead and title this. This is system wide email okay so we're gonna save and close okay so now we have a system-wide email so that template that I just put in there every email that's gonna be sent from Joomla is gonna have that design so now let's talk about the language overrides if you're familiar with the language overrides inside of Joomla then you probably have already visited the language overrides component so you might know a little bit about the uh, constant and how that all works in the string so if you don't, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial here. Here's the language override. So we're going to say new. So what we have here is this is going to be a title, and I'm going to make this the um, registration because we want to go ahead and change a bit of the registration. So now you've got your subject here. This is the language constant used in the subject line. There's a couple ways that you can find this. One, you can go inside of the language file, the INI file, which is found inside of the, your root of Joomla, under languages, under the folder for the language. You'd open that up and then you could search for registration. Let me give you a quick look at that. So now I've gone into my language folder here and I've gone into the English, Great Britain, and I've selected UCOM users because COM users is what's going to handle the registration. So right here we can see that we have the com users email account details account details for and then we have our strings here so this would be account details for username and the website name here's the activation so what's going on here is this is your constant and this is the string now there's a lot in here so you might not actually know what is what so you might actually just want to use a string. If you know Joomla and you know about the language files um, and you understand it, this might be one way to go about finding it. But I'm going to show you another easier way if you're not familiar with the language files. So an easier way would be to go ahead and send yourself one of the system emails. Uh, say if you're doing a registration email, go ahead and register on your site and get that email and go ahead and grab the subject line. So we know that it's account details for username and the website. So let's go ahead and do a search here. So the constant is going to be the com underscore the language part. The string is the actual contents. So I'm going to search for account details and do a search. So right here we see that com users email account details, account details for. Okay, so let's go ahead and select that. 
So now we have the account details here and the subject variables one and two for the values. I'm going to show you how that works in just a moment. So now you have your body constants. That is going to be the actual email itself. So this is the subject of the email and this is the body of the email. So now we want to go ahead and find this. So again, I'm just going to refer to the system email that I got when I registered. And that is going to be, thank you for registering. I'm going to search for the string again. Okay, so now we have a, a lot of different ones here, as you see. There's many of them. So let's go ahead and use a little logic and see that this is the register body. Okay, this is the username and password. This is register body. Okay, so this is thank you for registering. So this is the thank you. Okay, so this is the activation body. So if you want to go ahead and set up in your Joomla that it's sending an email and that they have to click on the link, this is going to be it right here. Um, as you see here, it says the following username and password. Um, there is an option inside of Joomla that I would suggest that you use um, for security purposes that you don't actually send your user their username and their password in their email. Just turn that off inside of the global configuration for the users. So what I'm using now is I'm just using the activation body with no password. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Now what this is doing is this is giving me the strings inside of the language. So this is going to be like on this one it would be your username and the website name. And then these are the values that are coming in as the strings in here. So over here before we save it, so we're going to be using the template, use HTML. Okay, the, there's already some HTML involved in, this, in these emails. Not too much, but as far as the line breaks and such. So if you want to do custom HTML for the actual language content, select yes. If you just want to use what's already in there with the line breaks, say no. And this is a blind copy. You can go ahead and send a blind copy and your notes. So let's go ahead and save and see what happens here. Okay. So now we have English right here. If you have more languages, they appear here. So this thing is completely multilingual to where you can go ahead and have different text for each language and you can edit it. So let's go into this. So now we have our subject and our body. This is going to be the text. So first thing I want to do is I want to reset to default because I want to know what was in there beforehand because I have no idea what that value one through five is. So right here we go. We've got account details for value one, value two, then down here, hello, value one. Thank you for registering at value two. Here's the link here to activate. So this is obviously going to be the link. You can leave it just like this or you can change it. One nice thing that we've done in here is that now that we know this is account details for username at website. Same here, username, website. So I can go in here into the details and I can say that, okay, instead of value one, I want to make this easier to understand. So this will be username and this is going to be website. Okay, now I'm going to hit save. And I review this here and I reset to default. Now it becomes account details for username at website. You can do that down here too. So we know this is username. We know that the value two is going to be the website name and value three account uh, file link. Okay, so this is going to be the registration link. So I can go over here and put value one is username. Value two is website name. And value three is reg link. Hit save. Go back here, reset to default, and as you see, it's all changed there. So now inside of here, you can change any of this text that you want. You can say, um, thank you for registering, um, welcome, we love you, blah, 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 blah. If you want to use HTML, you can put images in here, you can do whatever you want, but I would suggest that you just leave the body as far as the HTML to, you can take care of the HTML and the template. But if you want to have a special message just for the registration, you can put your own HTML in here. So let's go ahead and save and close this. So we're not using HTML. We're using the template. 
And so over here in the templates, we've got our system-wide email. So now the subject line is going to be pulled from that language overrides, and this content is going to be that. So actually finding all of that constant and the subject line, one good thing that you can do that I, I would suggest that if you're not finding what you need to find, go ahead and blind copy yourself right there. And that's going to send an email every time that an email is sent. And just go ahead and look at those emails and look at the subject line of them and look at, you know, some of the text that's in there and it'll be really easy to find. So let's go ahead and um, send ourselves an email. So we're going to go save and close. Now I'm on the front end of our demo here, and I'm going to go to the login. Now I'm on the login page, and I've got username and password, so I um, don't have an account. I'm going to set up a new account now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I entered everything, and an um, activation link has been sent to my email address. So now let me uh, check my email, and we can take a look at what it looks like now. So this is basically how your email is going to look. So back here in the template area, um, we can go ahead, and that's our system-wide email, but um, we want to say a new, and um, we can go ahead and say that um, we want the any component here. You can go ahead and do the same thing for any component. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is a very powerful tool for communication to your users, your outward appearance to users. You can go ahead and create your own branding and really give your email messages a professional look. And you can do marketing and so much more. So I hope you found this tutorial informative. And if you have any questions, please refer to the documentation or send us a support ticket. If you have an idea or maybe a suggestion on how we can make this extension better, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.